Hey there, it's Pat Nelson, and nice of you to join me for a brand new episode with our Ostriff game as we overlook our town. Here we have the original town, we have the bridges that we have so far. Here we have the other new part of town and of course the town center with the big church. I really like this view by the way, let's speed things up a bit. We still have a trader close by, should we do anything with that? No we don't. So we are busy increasing the uh, fishing industry, which is good. I think uh, we should really do that and make sure that we um, get extra fish. We still have a little bit of fish left. It's December, so it would be nice if we have some more fish left later on. That's what the fishing docks are for and of course for new jobs. We're also building quite a few houses in this area. I'm going to continue with that, see if we can uh, make a nice area out of that. I also want some extra farming to um, be able to get some extra um, wheat and then get some chickens. We don't have chickens yet and I would love to get some chickens. And maybe we get a few extra orchards as well. That might also be in the works. We'll see though. At least one of the fishing docks is done again. Let's order a few boats. They won't be getting there of course until the freezing river has defrosted. But after that we'll get those, so that's nice. Our smeltery is working. Although, oh, it can't work in winter, so this is a good time for them to load things up. Now, last episode we worked on filling up the granaries. And we can see right here, this one still has the option open. We can get the honey out, by the way. To um, fill up with whatever it needs. And I think we should do that to all granaries at least well we already did it to this one this one's filled up so that's good did we do it with this one already appears so it appears so and that's really important but maybe we just need more granaries or whatever let's see right now focusing <coughs> sorry about that slaughtering a few bulls just to keep the one-year-olds because that's one of them is enough that's it and let's start working on some expansion. I think we have apples right here, yeah. So perhaps we can get a few more red apricots or something like that. Let's turn them around. Let's rotate them a little bit. Like this and then see how big we can make it. Just hit the F1 button try and squeeze things over. All right, let's make it pretty lengthy. Is it wide as can be? Yeah, this should be good. Same here. This is the maximum length. This is the maximum width. That should be it. Let's move this one over a bit. Right there. There we have it. There's another art chart. So this is all apples. This should be apricots. Yes, this is also apples. So maybe we can do some cherries here. I think that'll be nice. I'll build another one next to it. Or even more cherries, so that we really get a good amount of cherries. Alright, this is the maximum length, apparently. Because of the, uh, the landscape here, it can be stretched out quite a bit. Alright, this appears to be the maximum length. This appears to be the maximum width, something like that. Yes, alright. Same here. 2 1 for cherries. Let's speed them up a bit. Oh, we'll do it like this. We don't have. We do have available jobs, but as you can see, we also have available people. So it might be a good thing to really get these extra jobs going. First, they need to build this, of course. It's a bit out of the way, so it will take longer for them to build things like that. So getting extra housing here will be nice. I do like the way everything looks on the map. Especially this round area. It looks really cool on the map. Carpenters doing its jobs. We have preemptive repairs on. That's good. Well, this one's completely filled up. So this tannery should be working like a charm, although it needs more sheep hides. That's the main thing it needs right now, sheep hides. And I think we should put them in um, this one. 
to make sure that the sheep hides are collected in time. But we don't have any available yet, so we need to slaughter a few sheep if we want that done. Ooh, we can slaughter a few rams, apparently. And that should bring us much closer to the amount of um, sheep skin that we need. Ooh, let's not slaughter this one because that's the last one that's one year old. But this should do it. This should deliver us with a few extra pieces of sheep skin. Alright, let's order the boats already. And I think we should set these up in a way that we apply this to all. We'll do it like this. We'll switch these around. Apply. So now these should be filling up with men. And they are, so yeah, this is good. This is a good jobs machine. Those extra... Ooh, and we have a message from Balaklia. Cows, pigs, iron. Do we need iron? Yes, we need to buy iron. We're trying to create our own, but it's a lengthy process. So let's do it like this. Anything to sell? Not really. We do have plenty of clothing, but I just don't want to sell it. But we can sell some um, sunflower oil. That's nice. Potatoes. Yeah, we have plenty, but I'm not going to sell it. We'll just keep it for our growing village. And it's just one more house. And we really get the... Um, the orchards as well. Now, I think we forgot to put in some water with these houses. So let's just bring it in. Now we can do it right here next to the house. And since this is a street, we can also do a well here. So that will provide all these houses with some water. Let's see. Anything else? Well, this all we have. We we still need chickens. I, I do want chickens. I like that. But to go with that, we need a farm to provide s some extra weed. As you can see right now, oh, we still have 8,000. So that is plenty. Perhaps we already have enough. That could be the case. Then we could get chickens next to this, this farm. And just feed them. I think we can. We'll do it. And otherwise we can still build an extra farm if we really need to. Wait a minute, this is not a farm that has wheat, so that's not really productive if we put it in there. This one has wheat, so maybe we can build the chickens here. That might be even better, because then it's close to the food. It will fit. Question is, how many should we fit in? I think we can do three. I want a lot of chickens. Let's do it like this. Of course, they'll need water. So let's build a well. Well, let's see how that does. And we're getting close to the river. Becoming liquid again. And that means that they can start to build boats. So we can do extra fishing. And we can see the snow is melting. So that's pretty cool. Now, I do believe we need extra bridges at a certain point. Because we have three or four big bridges now. But I want more. I want this city to just look awesome by the amount of bridges that we have. So I think we should start planning a bridge here as well. It'll be another nails, but we have them, so why bother with it? And one here might also be nice. So yeah, I do want those extra bridges in. A messenger from Merefa again. Well, nothing to buy, nothing to sell, so this is fine. Oh, we can sell some salt. Yeah, we have plenty. Buy salt. Well, we can see these three are already fishing. These need to get their boats. They're not really getting them. Ah, there comes the first. All right, that's good. We'll take a bit of time. In the end, one boat yard, each boat yard should do it. So perhaps it's time to build some extra housing here. We'll do it a bit like this, I think. Let's just face the, um, the granary a bit. So we'll make some sort of a little square around the granary. Because I think that looks nice. Yeah, I can't squeeze another one in, but we can build one here then. 
just to get some sort of a square. I think I like it this way. Now let's build a well here. Doesn't have to be straight. I'd always like to build everything straight, so maybe I shouldn't do that all the time. And I think in this square we need a, a gazebo. Or at least two. Where's everything right there? Alright. And then we'll try to get rid of some of the trees and then later on um, fill it up again with bushes and trees, but just the way I want it to look and not just like this. The orchards are done. So let's set them up for cherries. Same one here. Let's do it like this. Apply to all. So let's get going with the berries. Now, this will take some time because there is still sowing the fields, of course. So a lot of people are being hired out. But soon they'll be available and then we can... Um, yeah, as we can see right here, things are already quite busy. So we do have a thriving town. It's nice. Let's get the extra bridge done. I would really like it to look something like, I don't know, Paris or something like that. It has a lot of bridges across the river, like London. I think that's one of the most interesting parts of those cities, that they'll have all these bridges to get across and it just looks nice. And they're busy. I mean, people are walking over them all the time. Maybe not this bridge right here. This is probably not too busy, but it's fun. You can go on a little, I don't know, stroll around this little island. It would be cool. I would definitely go and walk there a lot and just sit by the water. As long as it's not too busy there. Two boats in already. Now the workers need to get there and start working. They do take their sweet time building those few boats. Maybe we should get um, extra boats in. I'm not sure. Alright, these have all three now. So they can start to go to work. There he goes. Perfect. A messenger from Paniyut. Ooh, this is nice because we can get some meat here. We desperately need that in the end. And we can get iron ore. We still have some, but I want more. Anything to sell? Well, we have apples. We have some sunflower oil, but not too much. We don't have that much warm clothing either, so that's not going to work. We can sell carrots or onions, but we'll have to buy them first. And nobody's producing them since we don't have... How much does lime give us? Oh, that's a good amount. Let's add some lime here. Let's add like a thousand lime. Probably can already... Um, sell it because by the time the boats get here we'll be able to um, all, all the thousand that I've put in will be there so let's just sell it that's fine we need a functioning tavern well usually the case is just that it doesn't have the amount of alcohol that it's need that it needs which should be here and it is I think we should set the resource supply to laborer by hand as well. Yeah, they're really going to bring in some of this stuff now. Messenger from Barvin Cove. Anything we should get there? We could get some sheepskin. And some horilka. We are almost out of horilka, so let's buy that. Anything that we want to sell? Well, 2,000 potatoes seem nice. Some flour? No. Sheep hides. I'm not going to sell sheep hides. That's definitely not what we want. So, yeah, the tavern is functioning again, so it has the alcohol that it needs. Just need to fill it up. And for that we need workers. Oh well, the extra houses are coming in. We have two available houses. Let's hope it's sufficient. Also means that no people are marrying at this point, which is okay, because then we can't really get new people in. We just need to settle the need for alcohol right here. How full is this one? It's not nearly full. So perhaps 
we should set this up to 2000 so that it can really get her what we want and we should skip this one at 2500 so that it doesn't get too full with that and finally more and more people are being hired to bring in goods yeah now they're bringing in good amounts of alcohol and as soon as these guys can really get big chunks yeah awaiting 40 awaiting 60 then they will work for quite a while and that's what we want they're just running out of alcohol every now and then and that's really not what we want and I do believe you can have only one I'm not sure can we have two taverns that would be great at least we can have one working all the time then maybe not sure ah the cherry trees are planted that's nice this one's completely filled up with iron ore well, there's plenty of room here, so let's set this one to laborer by hand, so that they can bring in those goods. And the carter can also do that. I believe we have a carter somewhere here. Yeah, there. There's just one guy in there. That's not going to work. We need more people in there, so that they can all do a good job. There's four carts not being used. That's really a waste of people. Ooh, and we can put um, some women in here. That'll be nice. Let's see, what should we provide for them? Well, we can start off with 5,000 water, 5,000 weed. We can get in some buckwheat, maybe some linseed. We get only small amounts of it, but that's it. It's fine. Let's make sure that we get the food and then we can maybe buy some chickens at a certain point. Although not right now. Because they don't have chicken in this place. But yeah. As soon as we get a trader that can provide us with chickens, we'll get them. That will be nice. Really can't wait for more. Ah, there they are. All the men are in there now. So these should be able to do something nice. Let's set it up to 50% so they really work where it's needed. Same here, that's good. They should just be able to bring in, like, all the iron ore here. Because we need way more. It's said that they should be able to deliver it. Apparently they're not, but we'll find a way to fix that later. I think basically everything is running smoothly. We have plenty of apples. Still no apricots, but it should be there in one or two years. We have a growing amount of fish. That's really good. We have lots of drinking water. We have enough clothing. We have enough cow hides. That's all good. We have plenty of potatoes. Sheep hides. Sheep skin. 3,000 shoes. That's very good. This is working on creating broth cloth. This is also creating warm clothing, so they're creating both. That's very nice. This tannery already working. Ooh, they're all tanning, so going to get a lot of leather and sheepskin soon. We already have 500 sheepskin available there. So that works. Those things all look nice. Though we really need to get the iron ore here. Perhaps we should set this to 5000 then. So that really most of the iron ore from this place can go there. Because we have a lot to spare here. Of course workers can do it by hand. That's no problem. They don't really need to bring in a lot here. Maybe something. Oh well. Let's just continue with the housing soon, so that we get those extra houses. This area seems to be okay, so let's build extra housing right here. Since there's already some sort of a street here, we can do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, they'll just go around it. Okay, that's fine. Continue right here. 
All right, let's create some sort of a, a square. And in there, we can build a well. Or two, maybe. Not sure, let's see. Yeah, this is going not that fast, but it's okay. We built one well here. And we will build another one here. Let's get in a gazebo. Oh, I want the other one. Always use that one too much. We'll build one in this corner. Build one in this corner. We'll build one in this corner. The kids can all sit there. Let's put in a few of these big trees. Oops. Just for the fun and the looks of it. So that it seems a bit like a park. And then we have a little nature area here. Oh, that'll be nice. How's this one doing? Well, it has all the basic needs, so that's good. So that works as well. Two houses available, but no functioning tavern again. So the people are actually drinking so much that we're not going we're not able to get the alcohol there all the time, apparently. So perhaps we should build a tavern close by as well, so that it can just get the alcohol very quickly. Or, since all the alcohol is here, should build a tavern somewhere here so that they can just get the alcohol there. That could also work. Let's see, can we build another one? Yeah, we appear to do, be able to do so. If we build it closely here, let's do it something like this. Can we build it somewhere here? Not really. Oh, that's not nice. But of course, this is where people live, but also where all the industries are. So all those men working very hard all day probably really want a place to hang out and get some get a nice drink from still plenty of meat so nothing to be bought there nothing to get yeah that's good we can see that we have a little issue now because all women are working on these uh, places probably somewhere to get all the goods so let's do it like this laborer by hands and do apply to all so it will be turned off that should probably free up a few women, as well as, of course, when the harvest is done, to start filling these up, because this is a problem. We don't have enough gatherers to gather all the stuff. Perhaps we should do the same with the warehouse. No, this is good. We just need laborers, that's for sure. Ah, we got another chicken coop. Let's apply to all and apply to all. No chickens. Nope. So we still can't get chickens, but in the end we will, and that's good. That's just bringing in everything that we need there for the uh, chickens. School's do still doing very nice. And we can see a ton of flags here with all the building that they have to do. So we'll just let it run for a while and see... This part of town being built, of course, with also a tavern and a chicken coo, and we can delay the bridge a bit, I think. Just want a lot of housing done. One second you have a lot of people available with not enough jobs, and 20 minutes later it's turned the other way around, even though the population grew. You're now a little shortage in people. We'll fix it though, especially when the harvest comes in. Messenger from Barinko. Well, let's buy some extra Horilka. It's going pretty hard and we don't have that much. Other than that, I don't think we need anything at this point. We do have 760 metal parts. We have 750 nails, so we're good on that front. We don't really need to invest in that. You know, nice if you could sell a little bit more than we do, so we actually run green numbers. But also that will be fine. Ah, they're slowly bringing in some potatoes here. It's just completely filled up, that's why they can't get those stuff things in. And they are finally bringing some firewood. So yeah, people are becoming available to fill those jobs. And to make sure that all the industries can still run, which is important. That's also why I stored firewood all over town. So that those reserves can be used 
when needed, but as you can see, there's still 10,000 here. Nobody's using it, so it'll be okay. Now, they're building the second tavern. Really hoping another nice family comes in there to um, help out with providing alcohol to the town. I think that's really needed. Ooh, now that my eye falls on it, we can see that most of the uh, graves are filled. So we need to enlarge the graveyard a bit. Let's get a few extra burial plots. Let's rotate them a little bit. One, two, three, four. We'll do the same here. One, two, three, four. Let's turn it around. One, two, three, four. Same here. One, two, three, four. Then I would like to put in bushes in between. To separate those two little aisles. I think that, that looks nice. Well, this one's occupied. We can place those two a bit too close together, but that's okay. Now these are separated. And it gives us enough space for now. Alright, new tavern is done. Not enough alcohol on the local market. Yeah, there's probably no alcohol here. But we can just add it. Orilka and mead. Where is it? Right there. Well, they're already getting the Horilka, so these can buy it then. At the same time, we have this messenger again. This guy keeps coming. I want the one that provides me with some chickens. So please tell me, where are the chickens? Ah, this one is done. It's burned already. So let's hope the others can get what they need. You can see the amount of traffic increases a little bit on this bridge, so it's pretty busy. I, I do like it that way. We now have three chicken coos. Just no um, chickens. But these will get the food that they need in here in the water. That's very nice. And now we are finally building more houses here. Let's keep those houses coming for a while. To provide for all the workers that we need. It's already November, so... I think here since planted eight. So yeah, we should have plenty of apples. Thirteen thousand apples right now. You wanna buy apples? No. Too bad. Wish you would. That will be great. Oh, that will still take some time. This is already ten years. They still have a lot of apples in store. I wish I could feed my apples to the uh to the chickens or something. That would be awesome. Or to the um yeah, it can't be done. But that would be great if we could feed apples to our animals. I think that would be a great addition. I don't think it's coming soon, but why not? Maybe to the pigs, but I don't think so. I would like that. If you could just feed them. Alright, let's see. Are we selling apples here? Yes, we are. Selling good amounts, so that's good. Plenty of apples to be gathered here. They're just not getting it. Yeah, we still need a lot more people to um, bring all the goods everywhere. 40 women need it, or men. It's actually a lot. 40 people need it to bring goods somewhere. I wonder where they're all going, because we did change out the um, granary, so they won't be going there all the time and, and bringing goods there, because they're not hired as laborers there. At least not anymore. I wonder where they would be hired then, as laborers. There is a request for 36, so they have to be somewhere. Oh, maybe here. No, not really. Ah, they are bringing goods here. And to this one, of course. But here we really need it. So, yes, yeah, we do need quite a lot of people right now to fulfill all the uh, necessary labor jobs. We really just need to wait for more houses to be done. And to grow and expand that way. So that we can 
keep our economy running because without all the resources being brought around town we'll have a problem all right we have a messenger here with, uh, which has a lot of animals but no chickens anything else we can sell yes we can sell that perfect no potatoes no flour but it's okay it's okay i'm happy with this no textile oh, we do have quite a bit of leather not going to sell it though. This is this is fine. This is completely fine. Only two women in here, but they just need to maintain it throughout the winter, so that's fine. There's a house being built. We do have a growing population, but mostly um, through getting new kids. Village house is done. Is this working now? Yes, it is. But it has quite a bit of alcohol. So this could really mean that it it's it's making a good amount of money. Oh people got married. So then they occupy a house. The Yusko family lives in this one. And in this one we have the Samshishin family. Oh that's nice. Let's just take a look at our village like this. We can see all bridges being used. Very nice. This one and that one being the busiest, of course. People really running around, getting the stuff where they need it to be. It's a lot of walking around, but apparently it's necessary. No housing available. Come on, build some houses. Oh, here they are building. And the resources for the next house are already being brought there, so they can continue with the next one as soon as this one is done, so this there's, there's definitely some good productivity there. Of course it's never fast enough, but I think this is good. Well, I think they get tired, so there's just one working now. This, yeah, there comes more builders, perfect. Ooh, that's a lot, so now it's going really fast. Great work, keep this up. I do like it, all the houses inside the tree areas. That looks nice. And it's done, they immediately start with the next house. Well, that's going fast with all these workers. Did they already bring... No, they did not bring any goods to the next house, so they'll probably do that soon. And it's already halfway January again. Nice. And we can see that the number of people needed to fulfill jobs is, is getting lower and lower. So more and more jobs are done. And then they don't need to ask for people anymore. Especially all of these are done now. So then they don't need laborers anymore. So they can do different things. And of course it's good to have a ongoing demand all the time. Ooh, they're really bringing in the iron ore now. That's perfect. I think after this one, that number will drop even further. But that's precisely what we want. Messenger from Derkachi. Perfect. Let's sell some charcoal. Deal. Anything else? Well, we're not going to sell weed. I would like to sell some shoes. Maybe we can do that soon. Let's sell a thousand sunflower oil. We can miss that. And... Apples, yes. Let's make a deal. Let's sell some apples. We don't have honey. We don't need to buy any of this. Maybe some iron ore. No, we have enough. We can buy some iron to keep our... Um, our smithies working. Perhaps we can start selling some shoes. But then we'll have to add them to the trader, of course. But it will make for a good amount of money. Those shoes. So let's sell a thousand shoes. Question is, can they bring it in time? It appears so. So let's just sell 1,000 shoes. Deal. We'll take time for the cart to arrive anyway, so that's okay. And they're already bringing in the 1,000. So yeah, that should work. Ah, we got the bridge here as well. So maybe these workers can now... Yeah, I think these workers mostly live here. But if they do live here or have to go there, they can just walk that way. That's nice. 
Probably when a guy comes and delivers the boat or repairs it, then he has to walk back. And now we can just walk back on this bridge. And at least it's an extra bridge and it's cool for pictures. So we'll keep it like this. Very nice. Getting close to that bridge as well. We do have plenty of people now. It's, see, it's already starting to ask whether we have enough jobs. They'll be gone in like half a month because then there's a lot of sewing to be done. But for now, it's a bit questionable. We can always just add people to existing jobs. So we can put one in this one and do it to all the orchards. And then we will be that, that problem will be solved. Maybe we should do that, by the way. And then apply to all. And then the jobs problem might be solved a little bit. No, not completely. Let's just do another one. Apply to all. That's almost fixed now, so that's okay. Question is, I do want an extra farm, but where should we get it? We don't really have space here. There are way too many trees still. Though we could maybe build it somewhere in this area, but I think it's a little bit too small. Murefa, live chickens. All right, I want 20 chickens. Let's bring them on. Anything to sell? Oh, let's sell some salt. Yes. Anything else? No, not really. All right, that works out. Well, I th I'm still thinking where to place the extra farm. We could also maybe place it here. People have to walk a bit, but that's okay, I think. We should just get rid of all the trees, but that's just an immense job. Well, at least something to think about for another episode, because we're not going to do that in this one. It's nice, it's nice to think about it. And now we get 20 chickens. All we have to do now is move them around. Let's check if to see if the chickens are already somewhere. No. We'll just await the chickens to arrive. And then... Oh, we'll have 20. I think we should put... Seven in each, and then, well, seven, seven, six, of course, if you are good at calculus. And then we can um, see the amounts grow slowly later on. That, that should be enough. We just need to await the chickens now. There's a lot of people walking around. Not really sure that's very efficient, but there's nothing to be done about it, of course. And this is just such a peaceful game, so I still enjoy it. I'm just not seeing someone walking around here with chickens. Bring them right here. Maybe there? Yeah, there's the chickens. Perfect. Alright, let's set a hatch limit to as much as we can. Let's relocate seven to this one. Of course, we need to put up the hatchlings here as well. And then relocate six to this one. And now they all have chickens. There they go. And they can all start to have an increasing number of chickens. We already have one hatchling, so that's going rather quickly. They already laid eggs. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Just takes time, and then we have three working chicken coos. I do believe that we're going to save this up, and all the chicken eggs will be sold at the market, just to make money. Look at this, we're really getting the half circle done here. And the extra bridge. That will be it. Let's just do it like this. And then... Um, as soon as we can, I will um, probably end this episode when the bridge is done. Because it, this is just an amazing view. Let's see. Anything we can sell? Yes. Yes. See, they can we can sell chicken eggs here, for instance. And that will be a good amount of money. 800. Yeah, we're not going to sell those yet. Sell some extra shoes? No, not really. This is it. There comes the last part of the bridge. Now we have a lot of bridges spanning this area. I like it this way. 
Well, and while they lay the last parts of the bridge, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions for other games, suggestions about this game, just let me know in the comment section. I will respond to it. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.